last two years, it's pretty intact core of the team, except for Rory and Sean, but still, compared to like two years ago when half the roster do, this is a nice change of pace. It is, and, and it's something we set out to make some changes. Uh, we thought that the culture needed to be changed, and, and it has. Um, and, and we basically, when we looked at our team, we liked it. And, you know, we didn't like it as much during the eight-game losing streak, but we, but we liked it at the end of the year. Um, and we think we have a team that can compete for a championship. Um, a lot of the young kids coming in are going to buy for some spots and maybe take some jobs, but that's a good thing. You know, internal competition is great. But yeah, I, I like the team camaraderie we have. I, I like the cohesiveness, the way the guys get along, and I think we're heading in the right direction. As a general manager, it must be difficult to look at last year and say, well, we had a great start and then a long losing streak and then a good finish, and you're one shot away theoretically from playing the championship. It's almost like, well, who do I, what do I believe here? What team are we? Yeah. Um, I'd like to think we're more the seven and two team or whatever <laughs> it was than the, uh, the team that went on the long losing streak. But, you know, beating Toronto in Toronto, beating Rochester here, and, and you know, then being within a goalpost, I guess you could say, um, of making the championship game. I think that's more the team we are. This is a real tight league. Um, do I think we should lose eight games in a row? No, but we're not going to go undefeated either because the teams are so good. And, and you know, you look at the East. England's gotten better, Minnesota's gotten better, uh, Toronto's gotten better, although you know losing Colin may hurt, but you know they made some good acquisitions in the summer, and Rochester's three-time defending champ. So we're in a tough division, um, but, I, but I like our team and I like our chances. Two noteworthy departures are always obviously Rory and Sean. Uh, Sean obviously has some personal situations. Did that affect it, Hinnon? Was he thinking of retiring, or how did that you know, it, departure it was, happen? It was, it was really tough with Sean. Um, I, I just thought going forward, it was real tough when we're going to dress three, maximum four lefts to have two guys that are in the f year 40. Uh, and JT's JT. You know, he still had 25 goals last year, and, and I think he can still contribute. I think Sean can still contribute, but it's an area that we needed to get younger. Um, Brandon Goodwin and some of the other kids that, that we brought in, and then moving Chad up to full-time offense, I just didn't think.